Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine therapies. Today the topic is umbilical cord blood versus umbilical cord tissue. Okay, now I don't have an actual umbilical cord to show you today as far as what the different components are. But it's not that complicated. I mean, the umbilical cord has tissue by itself. It has something called Wharton's jelly. And it also has a blood flow back and forth. All right. A lot of people think that the blood from the umbilical cord is like the fountain of youth or the answer to a lot of medical conditions. And that is actually not true. The umbilical cord blood has some stem cells in it called hematopoietic stem cells, but those stem cells are not very active, all right? They're not nearly as good as what's called mesenchymal stem cells that come from the rest of the umbilical cord and the Wharton's jelly component. Those are very active in the repair and regeneration process and much better than umbilical cord blood. So when you're getting, when you're undertaking consideration to have a regenerative cell procedure with stem cells, growth factors, exosomes, secretomes, you know, the whole orchestra of, of cell types, keep in mind that those products biologically that have umbilical cord tissue and Wharton's jelly are much better than those that just have umbilical cord blood. Okay. It's leaps and bounds and exponentially higher numbers in the umbilical cord tissue products, which is what all of our centers use. All right. Visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. You can also call us at 844-GET-STEM. We have over 35 centers around the country. We'd be happy to get you in for a free consultation at the one closest to you. Thank you for watching.